cost, performance, and climate impact. It used to be that you had to pick two out of three for your construction materials. Let me explain to you why that's no longer true. Hi, I'm Matt Rager, a customer success manager here at Autodesk. Everything we build has a carbon impact, whether it's from operational carbon, which comes from, well, operations, or embodied carbon, which comes from creating and installing construction materials. While we can reduce operational carbon over time by using energy more efficiently, we cannot do the same for embodied carbon, which is permanent once the building is constructed. Building materials and construction contribute to at least 13% of the world's yearly carbon emissions. Given that we expect 2.5 trillion square feet of new construction by the year 2060, many are already working hard to reduce their overall carbon footprint. When I was still working at a general contractor as an assistant project manager, many of the projects I worked on had sustainability in mind. Typically, the projects would target a certain lead or leadership in energy and environmental design rating during the design phase. But this rating was prone to slipping, especially if modifications to the design were made. Many of the customers that I interact with today are struggling to identify the critical areas where embodied carbon savings are available. Some already have access to carbon estimation tools, but encounter errors when they're trying to enter in the data manually. They're also missing a way to visualize and report on this information to have data-driven conversations with all stakeholders. To lessen the carbon footprint of buildings, professionals like architects, engineers, and contractors must wisely choose materials for their projects, considering factors like cost, quality, and environmental effect. This is where Autodesk Construction Cloud comes in, connecting to the Embodied Carbon in Construction Calculator, or EC3 tool. Autodesk users can push their material details directly to EC3, a free tool that lets users see and compare the carbon levels of various building materials. EC3 helps users pick materials that are better for the environment by showing the levels of embodied carbon in materials that still meet performance standards and the cost difference between them. Once set up, Users can import packages from Autodesk Takeoff and Revit files from Autodesk Docs directly into EC3, making the process of gathering carbon estimates easier and error-free. EC3 uses data from environmental product declarations to compare carbon levels of various suitable materials that are both local and readily available. As projects evolve, Updates made in Autodesk Takeoff can be synced with EC3, helping project teams make informed decisions continuously. After deciding on materials, users can create detailed reports, including lead and ICMS reports, and save them in Autodesk Docs. These detailed reports can help guide owners and designers in selecting materials that will help reduce the project's carbon footprint without having to sacrifice timeline budget, or performance. Connecting carbon data with quantity takeoff and cost estimation workflows is an opportunity to reduce the carbon footprint of construction projects and decarbonize the built environment towards a better world for all. Thanks again for joining me for this episode of Autodesk's Digital Construction Tech Tips. Please reach out to us with the link in the description if you're interested in learning more, and be sure to check out the rest of the series.